Hello, uh, this is uh, LS556. Today we are going to talk a little bit about information science and how it is related to library science and to, of course, to STEM sources. If you listen to my lecture or, uh, or, or uh, were part of my lecture of last week in, in D12, we were talking about, uh, we talked a little bit about citation analysis, uh, sites, etc. Uh, I think uh, when we do that kind of study on uh, citations or on uh, information behavior or information seeking behavior, we're talking about information science. The difference uh, of uh, between library science and information science is that uh, information science is concerned with any type of information. Library science, when we define library science, of course, we are defining a setting, a traditional setting that is uh, the library. And when we think about library science, we think about libraries. However, uh, I don't know for how long that's going to be uh, still the case. Uh, it doesn't mean that our profession is uh, seeing the end. On the contrary, I think uh, now we need more librarians than ever before because the problem is not anymore about uh, finding information sources but evaluating and, and, uh, and uh, evaluating information sources because there, is a, there, is a, there, there are too, mu too much information. So the emphasis has changed from uh, searching for searching and finding information sources to the evaluation of information sources. Uh, what it may change is how the information is contained. Okay, traditionally, information was contained in books and journals. And last week, when we had our online session, we talked about the importance of journals in science, technology, engineering, and health science. And that's still true. However, uh, journals may be printed, as they uh, have been traditionally, but there, there may be electronic journals too. And when we're doing uh, our library work um, for and uh, helping our users to select uh, information on, on science, technology, engineering, and medicine, we may we may be very well using electronic uh, information, uh, uh, information that is published in electronic media, and we may be very well using uh, databases, okay, electronic databases. So so in that regards, uh, that's where we see the connection of li librarianship and information science. So the focus of information science is information regardless of the format or the container. It's a library without walls. It's uh, multidisciplinary and study every aspect of the information cycle. So in that regards, I would say that all librarians are information scientists or all information scientists may or may not be librarians, okay? But I, I think uh, uh, that may be a distinction that uh, maybe uh, scholars make, but for us, uh, we have to understand that we as librarians, we deal not only with books in printed format and journals in printed, in printed format, but we have to deal also with books, journals, and other types of information. And uh, and because the the library is a is an environment that is evolving very quickly, so we only uh, don't have books, uh, journals in printed or electronic format. But we may have movies, videos, music, uh, video games. Uh, we are streaming information, etc. Let's let's then uh, focus here in the information cycle, and this is very important. Uh, when we think about education, uh, formal education, when we go to the university, we see that everything is uh, uh, depart departmentalized. It's in different departments. Departmentalized, I guess, how you, that you can say. It's, however, knowledge is not like that. Uh, knowledge is a continuous. The knowledge is not uh, in blocks. The same thing happens with information. 
and information uh, there is information in everything because uh, one of the variables for to create knowledge is information okay and when we think about librarianship and information science and and we see this uh, information cycle and the functions we're going to see that that everything is related to to every function that we cover in librarianship and information science of course when we go through the program when we're doing our master's degree we may we may have to take like okay i'm going to take cataloging now then or organization of information then i'm going to take reference uh, collection management etc but actually they are all related and the idea of acquiring an education is see how everything is related in 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 the courses in the coursework that we take so let's study uh, the information cycle okay we can we can start anywhere by the way but let's say let's start here where it says creation and generation of information and all human beings create and generate information okay that doesn't mean that it's a good information or is relevant in every case or pertinent but we all create information uh, you don't have to have a college degree to create information every in every society every human being will create and generate information it may be good information it may be bad information made reliable or not uh, it may be informal or maybe formal etc but we all create information so that's that's the first thing that we have to take into consideration we as human beings are information creators and also we are creators of knowledge okay so what do we do with that information well we use the information and we communicate that information so let's go back let's go down here for example creation of information and we communicate that information or information dissemination okay in the case of informal uh, information well we how do we disseminate that information we disseminate that information by talking to other people by writing an email by making music by making a video etc by using our cell phones we are disseminating our information and we are communicating with other human beings okay uh, here at the top on the other side of, of, of the circle we have used we use that information uh, to do what well uh, one way to see this is we use the information to solve any informational problem uh, if we need to go to a doctor we need the, the doctor's uh, telephone number uh, if we if we need to pay our taxes uh, we use the information and how to to go to an accountant or how to fill up uh, the IRS forms etc so we need we have an information need and that's why we need the information okay another area that is very important also in this information cycle is what we call knowledge management uh, and organization and communication and knowledge and this is an area that uh, it's been developed uh, I, I say in the last 30 years on how to record uh, information that is being created and communicated and disseminated in uh, in a in 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 the corporate world and indeed in one or it doesn't have to be the corporate world it can be a profit or a non-profit organization and this is very important because there are a lo lots of information that it is informal meaning that it's not uh, written in any uh, written or electronically recorded that is very valuable uh, for that organization to operate and the problem that we face here is that when we have a person that has worked in that organization for a long time that person has a lot of information and knowledge and what that when that person retires that information and that knowledge goes with that person so librarians and information scientists are trying to uh, devise uh, a mechanism where we can recover that information and be and that information becomes part of the organization okay so that's what we call uh, knowledge management organization and communication and with that too of course 
we have organization of information. And there are many ways to organize information. We librarians like to use uh, cataloging and classification. Uh, we can organize, uh, organize uh, or we can organize, I'm sorry, information using uh, a database model. You know, I, I teach also a class called LS541 on uh, uh, the database model and how uh, we, organize, we organize information in relational tables, for example. And why do we organize information in uh, in tables, or why we catalog information? Why? Because it will help us uh, re first record that information, organize information, but it helps us, human beings and librarians too, of course, to retrieve that information. Because if the information is not retrievable, it, it it, it, it has no meaning. If you cannot use the information later when you need it, when you when the information needs arises, then it doesn't make any sense uh, to have that information. So, so one of the key or one of the core functions of librarianship and information science is to organize that information in order to re to make it re uh, retrieval. Okay, and when we do that information, we, we storage that information, we preserve that information in digital collections, etc. Again, it's not preservation per preservation; it's preservation and 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 storage, uh, so we can retrieve it in a later time when we need and when we when we have an information need. Uh, 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 last year, I went to Washington D.C. And I, I went to see the museums, but I visit this uh, museum called the, the News Museum, and it is very interesting for for any of us as librarians or information scientists, because this is not a museum of all artifacts. Uh, this is a museum on information, about information, of information. Okay, so in that regards, the artifact. To, uh, when we talk about the information, the artifact uh, uh, does not have any value. What it has value is the information itself. And we may like books, uh, you know, collect books, and we place a, a very significant value in the artifact called book. And that's very important. And I love some books too, and I collect them too. However, uh, in terms of uh, information dissemination and knowledge, what it is uh, important is not the artifact itself. It's not the printed book uh, with the pages, with the paper, no, or the cover, or no. What it is important is the information. So we have to make that distinction, especially in the STEMs, in the science, technology, engineering, and health uh, science. Because uh, what uh, our users or what the users of STEM are interested on is not the artifact. The artifact has no value. What it has value is the information. Okay, so let's not confuse about things. That doesn't mean that we don't love books. Yes, I love books. But in, when we're doing our professional job as librarians, uh, and we are helping others to address their information needs. What we're, what that person is looking for is the information, regardless of the container, regardless of the artifact. Okay. Another thing that we do in order to be able to retrieve uh, that information that is that has been cataloged and classified and and, and now is stored. It's assigned, for example, uh, control vocabulary, uh, uh, descriptors, keywords, etc. Why? Again, because we have to make it easy, or not easy, but we have to make it possible uh, to retrieve that information. Okay? Uh, why? Because, as I said a few minutes ago, if we cannot retrieve the information, then the information has no value. Okay, 
So, is, and this is especially, you know, this is for any case when there is an information need. But in the stems is also uh, crucial, being able to retrieve that information. And in the stems that we have seen, uh, we need the most current information. And that's why I said last week that uh, in the case of the stems, the journal was so important because the journal has the most current information. And when we talk about journals, and I explained that last week, we're talking about peer review journals, okay? So, and that's the most current and most pertinent information. Again, the journal doesn't have to be a printed journal. Uh, it can be an electronic journal too. And uh, being electronic does not mean that it's not peer review. It may, be well, may very well be peer review. And in the STEMs, in the science, in the in the medicine, in health science, we we usually or most of the time, the information that we require needs to come from a peer review journal. It doesn't matter if it's printed or electronic; it has to be peer review. Okay. Then comes the access, and access or retrieval means that uh, we as professionals are there to help a user get the information uh, to address uh, the information needs and we have access to that information why because we were able to go through knowledge management organization storage and indexing of that information okay so we can retrieve the information and finally we can communicate that information okay and we go to the function of information dissemination. The, the librarian, it's in every uh, 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 stage of this information cycle and function. As I said, we are all creators of information. We all use information. Uh, we we uh, have to uh, we have to uh, be able to uh, manage. Uh, knowledge and we are devising new ways to man and to record and manage that knowledge as I said before in uh, profit and non-profit organizations we have to organize that information we have to preserve and storage that information we have to make sure that it's uh, retrievable by assigning keywords descriptors etc then we have to access that information and retrieve that information so our user can have their needs answered. And then we communicate that information. So, so as, as we study this information cycle, what we can find is that every class that we take in, in our uh, uh, academic program is connected to one of these areas. But what I want you to think about is how uh, every area is connected uh, with the another area because it's not that one thing is here and the other comes uh, later no no uh, this is a, 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 this is that's why it's a cycle and it has not uh, boundaries okay all areas are connected okay so I'm going to record this short uh, I, I, this short presentation and later I will post another video.